Hello, Mr. Dave here with the Living Jazz Children's Project and our rhythm component. In this video today, we're going to continue to dig through our musical toolbox or musician's vocabulary. Things like tempo, one, two, three, four, one. things like rhythm, tone, sticking, dynamics. We're going to add another little tool to our box of tricks, a thing called shaping, or rather feel. Can we say feel? Feel. Let's spell it. F E E L. One more time. F E E L. Nice. We're going to review some body percussion. And lastly, we're going to learn how to make some percussion instruments at home as approved by the adult in the room. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's look inside our musical toolbox or musician's vocabulary and see what we have. So far, we've talked about tempo, a steady pulse, how to count that. One, two, three, four. We've talked about shaping rhythms with tones. Why don't you join me down here with the slap tones? One, two, cinquillo, twice. Yes, and then we talked about how we combine stickings to these tones. Um, real quick, let's try this one. We'll do uh, two rights using cinquillo and three left hands up here. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Two times, uh, two. One, two, here we go. One. A uh, two, a uh, one, two, you know what to do, and nice. So, also we talked about dynamics, and dynamics is our musical volume that we play any of these rhythms, be it a low dynamic, a louder dynamic. Either way, we really want to make sure we're clear with the rhythm and what the purpose of playing uh, these rhythms is. So one more little trick to add in to the mix here, and that would be how we feel rhythms. Can you say feel? Feel? F-E-E-L. Spell it, please. Ready, go. Again, I'm not sure you spelled it. Nice. So feel, um, we have two options with feel on this. And that would be number one, the triplet, say triplet, triplet. And with this pulse, we have three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we also have the next feel, which is duple. Can you say the word duple? Duple. All right. So with duple now, we have the same pulse here, but now we have a duple feel, which is going to be, we're going to put four notes, four even notes, instead of the odd number three. We're going to go three, four. We'll break that down in a second. But triplet, duple, triplet, duple. I know, it's craziness, it's craziness. But all this counting, feeling the tempo, thinking of stickings, thinking of how we're gonna feel the rhythm, all that lives inside our inner clock. We have to just put all these elements together. Your thinking cap, your listening skills, your watching skills, and paying attention to what it is that we are playing and that it's nice and clear. So moving on, the triplet. Let's work on 
this sticking, it'll be, it's three notes because it's the triplet and the sticking is right, left, left. We will separate the tones. So let's try this. We're gonna do four triplets and we'll count it like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One, two, a ready, a go. Oh, one, two, One, two, if you like animals, try four sea otter. But that's the triplet, okay? Now, the duple, the tempo stays the same, but now, instead of these sea otters, now we have four notes, and that works like this. Think of an alligator. We have this. Alligator, 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 alligator. Ooh, wee. Ready? And one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the one, two, one on the chest, three on the leg. And one e and the two e and the three e and the. You're gonna count just like this with the alligator, 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 alligator. One more time, please. Ready? And duple. Nicely done. Let's try the triplet one more time. One triplet, two triplet, ready, go. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One more time, just you, please. And this is a pretty slow tempo, but we can feel the difference. Again, three, four, and stop. Cool. Now the duple. Alligators, yeah? Two, ready, and one, two, and a, two, and a, three, two, and a, four, two, and a, one more time, please. And one, two, 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 Hambone. Now, hambone comes to us from an unfortunate time in history in our country, a time during slavery. In the 1700s, a law was passed that banned enslaved Africans from playing drums, um, singing, dancing openly out in the street. Now, the drums specifically was used to communicate for hundreds of years before um, enslaved people were brought here. And um, this law was passed that took that away. However, the spirit of the drum managed to stay alive with this newfound restriction. And it comes to us by using the body as a drum or percussion instrument. And I would also like to take a moment to recognize the city of New Orleans in the state of Louisiana, as it is the home of jazz music. And jazz music is a music that was created here in our country and is a mix of so many things that I do not have time to totally discuss. But I tell you what, hip hop wouldn't be hip hop without jazz music. Lizzo wouldn't be Lizzo without jazz music. Um, it is a really a beautiful type of music that really has moved around and, uh, and, and taken shape in a number of different types of music. Much like laws being passed that took away the drum, but not the drum's spirit. That said, let's go to the first movement of Hambone. And this has a triplet feel on it, and that's the our swing beat. It goes one, two, and three, four, and join with me a go. One, two, and three, four, again, two, and three, four, and stop. Nicely done, one more time, ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and stop. Sweet. The next movement we have is a move we call the actual hand bone. And the hand bone movement has 
uh, two tones, but the movement goes one, two, three, four, and five. Let's try that. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Two, again, uh, go. One, two, three, four, five. And our vocal for that was taki ti taki ti ta taki ti taki ti ta My apologies, don't do it too, so fast. So let's uh, let's try and just let's do the hand bone. Taki ti taki ti ta. You can still think that, but we just want to hear the hands and the bones. Taki ti two times. Uh, one, two, uh, one, two. Uh, ready and and stop. And I should note this movement, the hand bone, is a duple feel. One, two. Uh, ready go. One, Great. The assignment for the week to combine both the swing beat and the hand bone without stopping. Same tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. Hand bone and one, and two, and three, and three. And stop. Two, and go. One, two, and three. Okay, time for some quarantine creativity. And I want to talk shakers. As you know, shakers come in a number of different shapes, different sounds, different materials. So what I'd like us to do is make a shaker at home. Before you do this, I want to make sure that you ask the adult in the room, what materials you can and more importantly cannot use. And um, then let's start building something. I have here an empty can of Coca-Cola and I removed the drinking tab and put some white rice, covered that with some duct tape and lo and behold, I got me a shaker. Okay, looking forward to the next video. Thank you again. I'm Mr. Dave with Living Jazz Children's Project and our rhythm component. I will see you in the next one. Take care.